Hello and happy Thursday from Birmingham, Alabama. I just wanted to check in with you guys real quick um, and see how everything has been going. Uh, I've been getting you guys emails and getting all of your classroom assignments and Google Classroom and I'm super proud of all the work that you guys have been doing so keep it up today. Um, I will be checking in as soon as I drive back today and start grading all of those assignments that you guys have been working on and start providing feedback so make sure to pay attention to your emails today because we're going to do a really um, heavy uh, session tomorrow where we review everything with uh, the ecology stuff so make sure that if you guys have questions today of stuff that you don't understand in the Google Doc that you're working in today make sure where it says that you don't understand something that you actually tell me that you don't understand it because that's all that I have to go on or if you just have straight questions just for me obviously just email me okay so what your game plan is for today is that you are finishing up anything that you didn't finish yesterday or the day before with the two biome assignments with the lab or yesterday's assignment that you were supposed to go into Google Forms. Um, I did notice that there weren't as many people do that as should have been, so maybe that was a miscommunication. So what you should do is that every single person needs to fill out that Google Form. And that's just an easy way for me to check and make sure that you guys have a pulse, you're doing what you're supposed to do. Um, if the Chromebooks are an issue, then borrow somebody's phone. Um, that shouldn't be a problem because I believe that we have enough technology in the room for that not to be an issue at all whatsoever. All right, so today's assignment um, is a study guide. And I usually don't give study guides, but in this case, I'm trying something new and I need you guys to help me out with it. So for all of the ecology stuff that we've been studying for the last two weeks, um, it's a bunch of different topics. So what I did was I went into a Google Doc and I created these open-ended questions um, with a box underneath each one of them where you just have to respond with how you would study for that. Um, one may be dealing with a food web and the rules about a food web, so things that you would place there. You may want to place a picture of a food web that you find that you just copy and paste there that you could look back and you could study. Um, you may want to include the rules about the fact that you need to have the sun down at the bottom. You may want to include the rules about the arrows and that they have to be placing towards the person that is getting the energy. So any evidence that you think that you would need to study on that topic for this test you would place there. And the idea here is that you're going to have everybody in your group that has a task. So designate at least two questions for each person in your group to have as their responsibility and their autonomy so that they're responsible for researching that. You guys have phones, you guys have iPads, you guys have um, the Chromebook. I mean, you have plenty of stuff there that you can use to research. and. If all else fails, you can use a textbook. They still really do exist. Um, so if you have any questions about that, then obviously email me. But just load in, and you can have several people in the document at the same time, as always. Load in any of the evidence that you need um, to prove to me that you guys understand that concept or that you at least know how you will study for that concept. Then you go down to the bottom and then there's a little review more for my sake of what is the stuff that you guys really are understanding, um, why do you really understand it, is it the way that we, we learned it, is it because of something that we did in the notebook, um, was it because of the lab, and then what stuff are you guys really stuck on. And if there's anything else that you feel that you need to tell me in that document, by all means add it in there. But two things I need to make sure that you understand is that everybody has to have voice and choice in this assignment in order for you to be able to get credit. So if I do not see someone's name listed with their evidence, I'm not going to know that they were actually participating today. So make sure that even if you don't have the Chromebook in your possession, that you are having voice and choice in this because you need this grade and you need to be able to pass this exam. Um, so I think that's everything that I have. Everything is already loaded into Google Classroom for you. I don't think you'll have any problems. Um, if problems arise, then I should be driving back from Birmingham here in about another hour. Um, and I will have my phone on me. Obviously, I can't email you back. But as soon as I get to a place that I'm stopped back in Enterprise, then I will email you back. Um, 
And just to check in with yesterday, yesterday I did present at the Alabama Science Teachers Association meeting. Um, pretty, pretty exciting stuff. Got to talk to 30 to 50 other science teachers from around the state and um, share just all, all the awesome stuff that we do in our classroom with Google Classroom, with Twitter, with um, all the Google Suite that we're doing. And they were really jazzed about the stuff that we've got going on. So I ended up getting several, several followers on Twitter. Um, from middle school and high school teachers and even a couple of elementary school teachers from the state that they're just really jazzed about all the stuff that you guys do. Um, I provided examples and videos and pictures and whatnot and even showed them some of the pictures that you guys were sending me yesterday of proof of life. So um, really exciting stuff yesterday. So I look forward to telling you guys all about it tomorrow. So have a wonderful, wonderful, terrific Thursday and I will see you tomorrow.